Welcome back. That is the Patty LaBelle, the, the Patty LaBelle, <laughs> singing her hit on my own as we look at this live picture of Pittsburgh on this Tuesday. Yeah, it's a pretty shot of downtown, even though it was rainy. Betty will be kicking off a big weekend downtown this Friday. She's the opening act for the Pittsburgh International Jazz Festival. The festival is the signature program of the August Wilson African American Cultural Center. Other jazz greats in the lineup include Charles Lloyd, Stanley Clark, and the group War. And it all kicks off with a big party Friday night called Taste of Jazz. One of the featured chefs is welcome with us this morning. We want to welcome Jean Porter, new executive chef of Lydia's Pittsburgh in the Strip. And also longtime KK friend Sydney Nunn, who is with the August Wilson Center and a former colleague of, of Hi, ours. Great morning. to have you back. Thank you. Great so, to be back. So good to have both of you here. And I love talking about the Jazz Festival, but I also love how you guys incorporated a taste of jazz on Friday night. Yeah, everyone loves food, so you can't really go wrong. You with can that. pair food with anything. <laughs> Right, exactly. <laughs> Even jazz. Right. And so what are you making for us today? Uh, today I'm making spaghetti trepanese, so it's an almond tomato pesto. Um, we just have some almonds, fresh cherry tomatoes, which are coming in season, where I'll have this on our pasta trio tonight, and it'll be a staple during the summer. That's great. So. And this is something you said is so we, easy. We you have can stolen this <laughs> recipe from Lydia on TV, and so we, we call it pasta trepanese. And, and what I love about it is you just put everything in the blender, right? Right, yeah. You can use your blender or a food processor at home. It's very easy, very quick, healthy, delicious. And so you have basil in there and then the cherry tomatoes. About 12, cloves, or 12 basil leaves, cherry tomatoes, almonds. We'll do a little pepperoncino, some salt. About a half a cup of olive oil, and then that's it. Got to throw in the olive oil. Yeah. And I see some garlic. How, many, how much garlic do Just you put in? Just one clove. Just one? Yep. Okay. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's not, not super garlicky. It's, All right, good. It's well, more about the tomato and the almond. And is this something you'll be serving up Friday night? Um, Friday night, we're actually doing a duck gnocchi gazetto. Ooh. So it's, I mean, it's inspired by Eddie Harris cold duck. <laughs> so, we, yeah, we're going to throw that together for you guys, and it should be good. That's awesome. That sounds so good. That's, That's so awesome. Okay, so you're going to keep cooking so that yep. we can try this before we run out of time. But Absolutely. Sydney, you're also here to talk about the music because that's that's the big highlight. Right. Yeah. So Friday night we get to look forward to not only tasting food from Lydia's, but nine other restaurants will be participating. Um, we have some new restaurants this year. Con Alma, which is just open shady side, um, they're going to be preparing a shrimp and crab ceviche, which should be really t Ooh. really tasty. Um, new this year also, Wolfie's, they're doing a pierogi. Um, that's like that's like a Pittsburgh staple, so you right. kind of have to have a really good pierogi. Sure, yeah. And, um, Capital Grills, of course, doing their chocolate chip cookies for us, which we love all the time. I'm in just with that. Yeah. <laughs> chocolate, chocolate chip cookies and Patty LaBelle, I'm good. I That's the all. Patty LaBelle. Um, the cigar bar Burn on the North Shore, mm -hmm. which I'm sure you, well, not you, but <laughs> maybe you guys have heard of. Um, totally heard it's, of it. uh, They're doing a shrimp and beef jambalaya, which I think will be really tasty. And in addition to that, there'll be music in every room of our, of our beautiful facility. Um, Sean Jones, who is a trumpet player who has lived here in Pittsburgh for many years, worked at Duquesne. He's back. He's going to be with playing with all of his friends. Um, Orrin Evans, who is a piano player, he's going to be um, performing in one of our gallery spaces. We've curated our galleries. We've curated every single corner of the building. So there's a dance party with DJ Nate, Nate the Fat Barber. So I think that there'll be something for everyone to really get them worked up for the weekend. And so tell us about the weekend. What can we look forward to? Yeah, so this weekend we're jamming so much into our festival footprint. Of course, we have three stages outside, right outside of our building, two on Liberty, one on Smithfield. And um, you can look forward to concerts around the clock for two whole days, um, in addition to three live art installations. Um, we actually just did an art car. We painted a BMW, which was really exciting on Friday. And um, Wait, you, you paint, we <laughs> painted, <laughs> painted the BMW, yeah. So that will be on display for everyone to check out. And um, we, of course, have artist talks, which is something that's pretty unique. That's you get neat. to meet your favorite performer and talk to them, and they talk about their career and their experience. And there's also stuff for kids. There's a wonderful program called Jazz Time that's happening at the Cultural Trust. And um, it's it's just basically educating young children about jazz and you know getting them engaged and letting them play instruments. 
So um, really something for everyone, for everyone all day. It sounds fantastic. And yeah. I love the idea of pairing music with food because right. they're two things that I adore. Yeah. And we were, so tell us, Chef Jean, what's the next step? What, what are you going to do next? It looks um, like you're ready to plate yeah, it, right? Yeah, we're going to, I was going to blend it up real quick. <laughs> okay. And it doesn't Just take a, long, right? No, I'll show okay. you how long. It's like 10 seconds. And those tomatoes are not cooked. They're fresh tomatoes. Yeah. Right. They're just raw tomatoes. You just get enough so it comes together. So the sauce itself is That's like it. room temperature, but you're putting it over yeah, hot pasta. Yeah, all pesto pasta. should be room temperature. You never want to cook a pasta. I mean, you never want to cook a pesto. You just oh, okay, want to okay. toss it in with, toss it in with your warm okay. pasta. Right. And then I'm you're, learning you're things. Good to Look go. how lovely that looks. I know. Oh, I'm very excited my about gosh. this. What I love about this dish is it's truly a taste of like summertime. Yeah. You know, with the basil and the tomatoes. That way. Yeah. It's so mm -hmm. fresh. Yeah. That's Lydia awesome. knows how to do it. Okay, so when yeah. is Patty LaBelle showing up? Patty LaBelle is kicking off Taste of Jazz night. She'll be here Friday night. The concert is completely sold out. Oh, you wouldn't no. believe how many people have asked me. <laughs> no, are I there do any tickets oh. left? Yes. <laughs> um, there are not. <laughs> so you're going to get to meet her one on one yes, because of what you do. Yes, I will get to meet her. Um, I'm very. I'm looking forward to that. Obviously, I mean, she's been such an inspiration to me and so many others. So she will be kicking off of our entire festival this year, and we couldn't be more excited to have her. It's oh, that's awesome. Fantastic. Okay, I want to try this. Although right, you've so, already had this, so. so so you have already poured the sauce on top of this already. Yeah, you just tossed. Oh, it right I in. see. Oh, okay. I didn't realize you did that. And I think I saw you use a little bit of the pasta water too. You yeah, can just you kind of toss just that to through. Just loosen it up, just to. Yeah, get we're some more heavy-handed with the pasta when we or the sauce when mm. we make it at home. Yeah. What are you thinking? It's amazing. It's amazing. <laughs> and if David Highfield can make it. I, anyone can make it if David Highfield <laughs> can make it. I, I'm delicious. having trouble with the twirling. I always, I'm a bad twirler. <laughs> I, I have no Italian in me, well, so here's this is the what thing. it takes. It's different eating in front of people and eating at home. Because at home, you can just take the yeah. bowl and you can sit there and you can just shovel it in, right? Which is what I do. You right. Shovel yeah. it in. No, okay. <laughs> That's delicious. Thank you so much, Thank Chef you. Jean. That's fantastic. And Thank Sydney, you. it sounds like it's going to be a wonderful yes. weekend. Can't wait. Awesome. Come sample some great food, great music as well this weekend at the Pittsburgh International Jazz Festival. It all kicks off Friday with a taste of jazz. Look for more information and tickets at pittsburghtodaylive.com. And watch PTL again on Friday when musician and actress Tamara Tooney joins we us. Her. We do love her. She will be our special guest when she's in town to perform at Jazz Fest. Looking forward to that.